favorite thing in the world. Oh, and sorry for the bad lighting. I'm kind of pushing the corner right now. But for now, just more sanding. But if you don't have an actual paint booth like me, you just kind of make it shit up as you go, you're great to have. Tank, oil tank, fender, and a couple other things I'm going to be painting that I haven't gone over yet. One of which is a emergency fuel reserve, and because the chopper's not going to have a fuel gauge or anything, um, I figured it's probably a good idea to have some extra fuel. And I got my old Biltwell Gringo flat black helmet. So everything on this table is going to be getting painted to match. Of course, the bodywork on the chopper is going to be all the same, but I figured I had an extra helmet lying around. Fuck it, might as well. I did buy that fuel uh, emergency fuel reserve, I think when I bought the fender. So I've had that for a while, been planning on painting that. Got my paint booth all set up over here. Also put a plastic sheet across the ceiling, because last time I did this, I got a little bit of clear coat on the ceiling that you can kind of see if you look at it, if you're really paying attention. So basically what I'm going to do is sand all of this to a 320 grit which is what the primer that I have recommends. I'm gonna start with a 120 just to get everything really scuffed up and then hit it with a 320 for the final, especially because this little fuel thing has some like, I don't know even how they put the shit on it, but it's got some graphics on it. The oil tank has a little bit of rust on the, the seams of the welds and then the welds that I did, it has some as well. So I may even bust out my wire brush and clean that off really well. Also got brass plugs for all the holes on here. And on the gas tank, one other thing, I also did a new gas tank liner kit from a company called Cream. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, it's from a company called Cream. K-R-E-E-M. Um, I bought this when I bought the tank. It's a three-part system. The first part is a rust remover and cleaner. Uh, pretty much mix it with water. Let it sit for 24 hours or so. If there's any rust in the tank, it'll remove it. Uh, the second part is, I don't even know what the hell it is, but it's a kind of water remover. I don't know how it works. Basically, it, it captures all the water and gets it out of the tank. And the last part is this actual liner. All in all, it took about 48 hours to do just because you had to let the cleaner sit for 24 hours and you have to let the tank liner sit for about 24 hours. This one was sitting for about two days now just because I did it and I haven't really messed with it since. So yeah, I think we're about ready to get started here. Also, you're going to see me painting something else in here. It's not part of the chopper build, as you're probably clearly going to see. It's a it's a grill off of like a 2014 Dodge 2500, something like that. I think it's a 2014. Buddy of mine's had me paint it for him. I told him I'll do it real quick since I'm going to be painting all this shit anyway. That's going to be in the background. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started here on some sanding.
sanded to uh, 180 grit. Now I'm gonna get everything taped. Not much taping to do other than the helmet. On the gas tank, I'm just gonna tape the fill spout. Like I said, I already have the plugs in there. Fender is not getting taped at all. And then helmet, I'm taping up the buttons, the visor, and then the bottom, all the rubber around it. Not much taping right now at all. Taping comes later when I start doing the multiple coats and different layers. So we'll get all this shit picked up real quick, and I'm gonna get it hung up, get everything with acetone one more time, and then tack cloth, get paint mixed up, spray, probably probably three coats on most of this. The primer I'm using is pretty, it's pretty high build. Everything has been primed. I put three good coats of primer on everything. I got a cup here with some water with some 500 grit sandpaper. I'm gonna go ahead and wet sand everything to 500 grit. And I have some uh, surface prep that I'm gonna hit this with afterwards, let it dry, and then I'm gonna hit it with the silver base coat. Now from what you saw with the practice panel that I did. Didn't quite turn out how I wanted, but that's the point of that was to experiment and see what I would like, and it turns out I didn't like any of that. So I did some research. I'll get into this more in detail later, but I'm doing something completely different than that now. Still going to be the same color scheme, purple, black with the flake, but it's going to be very different than that. Once I get into the actual painting, I'm going to get into that. But for now, just more sand. So I got everything hung up, got gloves on. I'm trying this stuff called SimSolve. Uh, a guy at the local paint shop told me this would be the best thing to use uh, for the after priming before base coat. So basically spray it on, wipe it off. I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna hit it with a tack cloth and then we're gonna jump right into base coat. So it's actually the next morning. Got a little late last night. Didn't want the air compressor running with my kids sleeping. It's a little cold this morning, so the paint's probably, it's gonna dry a little bit slower. So it's gonna take me a little bit longer to do this, but you won't see any of that anyway. But I'm gonna start off with the um, bright silver base coat. 
probably gonna do three or four good coats of that. Probably probably three coats would be plenty. And then I'm gonna throw on clear coat with the metal flake, and then we'll go from there as to what the next steps are. Because that's when it starts getting a little bit more unorthodox as to what I normally or have done in the past. Four ounces of paint, four ounces of reducer, eight ounces of paint total should be plenty enough to do three coats. Quick wipe down one more time. Mask up, glove up, my fucking thumbnail is still red and primer from the grill I painted. Okay, so this silver is just a base coat. Don't get too fixated on the color. There's not gonna be anything on this bike that's gonna be silver when it's done. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen what the finished product already looks like just because this is you know, a little bit later in time. According to what I have in my brain, there's not gonna be any silver. It's gonna be a, uh, uh, a purple, black, a couple different shades of purple. You'll see. If you don't know what a tack cloth is, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's just a cloth that's really tacky. It almost feels like it has a waxy, I don't know, something or another on it, but it's just a last minute thing to get all dust and debris, anything off of your uh, your items you're painting. Cheap insurance, you know, they're like a dollar. So if you don't have an actual paint booth like me, and you're just kind of making shit up as you go, these are great to have. 